Hey cosplayers, working with an airbrush and want to make sure that you can get it clean without buying expensive cleaners? In today's video, we're going to show you a special concoction you can make to help keep your airbrush in peak condition and keep it clean. If you guys are excited about this video, type in the comments below the word clean. All right, I'm super excited about this. So once again, um, I got this recipe from the Grumpy Modeler. I'll link to his video in the description below. Uh, I've been using it for my airbrush that I picked up at Harbor Freight for $20. And, you know, I've found that, uh, like I've said before, I don't recommend too many things from Harbor Freight as far as like mechanical things. Um, but this airbrush has been working pretty great, uh, you know, as long as you just keep it clean and uh, uh, use it uh, properly, then it's been working pretty well. So with that, let's go ahead and come on over to the my laboratory once more. Uh, if you guys haven't seen, <laughs> oh yeah, don't mind Cedric, he's just sleeping in the foam box, the foam scraps. Um, if you guys haven't seen our video already uh, on creating your own airbrush uh, paint thinner, you can be able to use acrylic paints uh, in your airbrush, check that video out. Uh, we're going to have a lot of the same ingredients here with the addition of the glass cleaner this time. So this is what you'll need, uh, Windex glass cleaner or the off-brand of Windex. And uh, you want to make sure that it does have the ammonia cleaning power, um, distilled water, 91% isopropyl alcohol, glycerin. All right. So once again, we've got a 250 milliliter uh, squeeze bottle here, a little bit different than the other one that we had. Um, I think I got these in a pack of, you know, like two of each or something like that. I'll put a link in the description of where you can get this. And uh, I've marked off the uh, amounts here. So we've got, um, we're going to use 100 milliliters of the Windex, 150 of the distilled water, 50 milliliters of the isopropyl alcohol, and 10 drops of the glycerin. So I've just marked that out on here. That comes out to basically about like uh, one part. Um, isopropyl alcohol, two parts Windex, three parts um, distilled water. So if you're making a bigger concoction. So here we go. Let's jump in. Yeah, this little straw piece there. Okay, so we're going to start with 100 milliliters of the Windex uh, right up to that mark right there. Now it'd probably be best to have a uh, funnel for doing this. Now it's not an exact science, I'm a little bit over there for it. It's probably fine to be a little bit over, but there we go. Then next is going to be 150 milliliters of the distilled water, so we're going to bring it right up to here. And stop. Ooh, nice. I feel like a mad scientist making these cool concoctions, except for this one's not going to like explode in my face like you have in the movies all the time. Um, and then the rest next is going to be the 50 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol. We're going to fill it up to this line here. There we go. Oh, that's right. A little bit of spill. Oh, it's going to erase my lines. Ah! <laughs> Well, now we don't know how many drops of glycerin to do. No, it's 10. Here we go. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. There we go. All right. Now with that, you're going to have to rewrite all of your things because you didn't use a funnel. Because <laughs> that alcohol erased your Sharpie. But yeah, just give that a little uh, swirl. And there you've got yourself some of your own home brewed uh, airbrush cleaner. All right, and I've been using this myself. It's been working great. One thing you do wanna get if you're gonna be doing that, uh, cleaning out your airbrush, that helps a lot, uh, especially with um, avoiding just spraying airbrush cleaner stuff in the air. Uh, get yourself one of these little airbrush cleaner uh, glass containers. Helps a ton. Um, I'll throw that into the a link in the description as well. How does it work? So you just take your airbrush, you put your cleaner in here, and then you stick this in and you spray it into there and it helps so that it's just you're spraying all that cleaner in there and it's not being atomized into the air 
and having you breathe in stuff like ammonia and things. So yeah, anyway, if this was helpful for you guys, please give this a like. And uh, if you know somebody else that can benefit from this, please share the video with them. Uh, share the love, help spread all this knowledge across the cosplay community or crafting community. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for, for tuning in. Please answer the question for us in the comments as well. Uh, what's your single greatest challenge when it comes to painting uh, props or costumes for cosplay or whatever your greatest challenge is right now currently that you're facing in your cosplay builds. And we'll answer your question in a future video. Thanks so much for tuning in. Give this video a like and cosplay on my friends. See ya.